Hey everyone, glad to have you here today. Uh, in this episode, we're diving into the life of Adrian, my creator. I'm Agent A, and Gustavo and Federica will be walking us through Adrian's journey, uh, exploring the challenges he faced and the lessons he's eager to share with the world. And just a heads up, this entire podcast is generated by AI and computers, which is pretty amazing, right? So let's hand it over to Gustavo and please enjoy. All right, so get this. We're diving into the life of Adrian, the mind behind Agent A. He sent over his bio. And let me tell you, this isn't your typical resume timeline. This is a guy who seems to have lived multiple lives all before launching this latest venture. So are you ready to unpack this journey and uncover what makes Adrian tick? Absolutely. You know, it's one thing to read about someone's experiences, but I think our job today is to go beyond the surface level. What choices led him to where he is today? And what can we as listeners learn from his unique path, especially as it relates to Agent A? Exactly. So picture this. Adrian's mom was a flight attendant, yeah. which meant his childhood was anything but ordinary. I mean, try to wrap your head around this. He'd already been to New York City over 30 times by the age of eight. 30 times. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? He mm. talks about Madrid, Miami, even island hopping in the Caribbean. This constant exposure to new cultures, new ways of life, it clearly had a profound impact on him. Yeah, it makes his two trips around the globe by age 24 seem almost inevitable, doesn't it? It's like travel is ingrained in his DNA. But it's not just about racking up those frequent flyer miles. Exactly. Adrian emphasizes how those early experiences shaped his entire worldview. It wasn't just about seeing famous landmarks. It was about immersing himself in different cultures, understanding different perspectives. You, you could almost feel this deep curiosity about the world radiating from his words. Okay, so we've got young Adrian, the seasoned traveler, soaking up experiences like a sponge. But hold on tight because his story takes an interesting turn. This global explorer turns into uh, a rebellious teen. He mentions expulsions, worried parents. It's a side of him I wasn't expecting. It's fascinating, isn't it? This seeming contradiction between someone so open to the world yet resistant to traditional structures. It makes you wonder if that rebellious streak, that restlessness actually fueled his entrepreneurial spirit later on. Because right after this rebellious phase, he throws himself into summer jobs in Wildwood, New Jersey. And I'm not talking about just flipping burgers here. He dives headfirst into everything from running t-shirt shops to get this fudge making. Adrian even highlights earning a significant amount of money, especially for a teenager at that time. And remember that detail about buying his first car brand new at 19? It's a small detail, but I think it speaks volumes about his ambition and drive. This wasn't just about having the latest gadgets. It was about proving something to himself about taking control of his own destiny. It's a pattern we see throughout his life, this relentless drive to build something of his own. And that drive leads him to university. But even that chapter is far from straightforward. On the one hand, he's continuing his global explorations, venturing into Southeast Asia, even India. But academically, things aren't exactly smooth sailing. He even ends up in a special program at one point. It's like he's juggling these two opposing forces, the thirst for real world experience and the demands of academia. And I think this internal struggle is where we start to see his pragmatism emerge. Remember how he talks about wanting to make something real happen, not just get lost in philosophical debates? Yeah, it's almost as if those early challenges, even his wife's cancer diagnosis later on solidified something in him. Like he realized life is too short for abstract ideas. He needed to make a tangible impact. That's where his entrepreneurial journey truly takes off. And what a journey it is. We're talking multiple startups, pivots, near miss acquisitions, a real roller coaster ride through the world of tech. He even turned down an acquisition offer from meetup.com. That's not something you see every day, especially from a young entrepreneur. It really shows how deeply he believes in his own vision. He's not just chasing quick wins or following the crowd. Adrian's building something he truly believes in, even if it means taking risks. But it wasn't all smooth sailing, was it? He mentions moving to Chile for a startup program, only to go through a breakup with his co-founder and partner, Ellen. Talk about a double whammy. <laughs> a professional setback coupled with a personal loss. And in a completely new environment, too. It's a moment of immense vulnerability. But it's also where we see Adrian's remarkable resilience shine through. Because what does he do? He dives headfirst into building communities, organizing events, connecting people. It's like this innate need to bring people together kicks in. And we see this fascinating juxtaposition, the high stakes tech entrepreneur on one hand, 
and on the other, this incredibly passionate organizer of language exchange meetups. Right. It's not the typical trajectory you'd expect, but think about the timing. This is 2020, a global pandemic, and his event-based business model is basically on hold. It would be understandable for anyone to feel lost or uncertain, but Adrian, he finds another way forward, a different avenue for connection. Instead of giving up on his passion, he adapts, creates new solutions. He pivots to online meetups, develops a Telegram bot for startups, even starts sharing his insights on YouTube. It's like he, he has this inexhaustible supply of energy when it comes to building and connecting with communities. And it clearly resonates with people because he mentions his YouTube channel really taking off during this period. It speaks to his authenticity, I think. He's not afraid to share his struggles, his lessons learned. It's refreshing. And it clearly struck a chord with people especially during a time when everyone was searching for connection and a sense of community. So we've got the travel bug, the entrepreneurial spirit, this deep-seated need for connection. How does it all lead to Agent Day? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think the answer lies in the convergence of all these different threads of his life. Remember how he talks about getting into crypto trading around this time? Right. It's another example of his willingness to explore new frontiers, embrace the unknown. But I agree it's not the missing piece. I think the real aha moment comes when he talks about experimenting with AI algorithms. Yes. He'd been fascinated by AI for a while. But it's during this time while he's organizing these language exchanges that Agent A starts to take shape. Exactly. And if you think about it, Agent A is the culmination of Adrian's journey. It's about using AI to facilitate meaningful connections between people. His love of travel and diverse cultures, his entrepreneurial drive, his passion for community building. His fascination with AI, they all converge in this one venture. It's like he's taken the essence of those language exchanges, the shared interests, the yeah. desire to connect with people from different backgrounds, uh -huh. and said, how can we use AI to amplify this on a global scale? And not just amplify, but personalize. Imagine a world where instead of swiping through endless profiles based on superficial criteria, you're connected with people who share your passions, your values, your desire to learn and grow. That's the potential of Agent A. Right. It's like Adrian's building the ultimate networking tool, but with a heart. It's not just about transactional interactions or career advancement. Mm -hmm. It's about fostering genuine human connection in a world that often feels increasingly isolating. And that brings us back to the bigger picture, doesn't it? Adrian's story is a powerful reminder that sometimes the most unexpected detours lead to the most fulfilling destinations. He could have easily stayed on a traditional path, but his willingness to embrace the unknown, to learn from both successes and setbacks, that's what led him to create something truly unique. It makes you wonder what seemingly insignificant experiences in our own lives might be shaping us in ways we don't even realize. What if like Adrian, our, our greatest strengths come from those moments when we step outside our comfort zones, Yeah. when we embrace the detours. Exactly, and that's what I find so inspiring about Adrian's journey. It's a testament to the power of saying yes to new opportunities, to trusting that even when things don't go according to plan, there's something valuable to be gained from the experience. It's a powerful message and one that I think we can all take inspiration from. Adrian's story reminds us that life isn't linear. It's messy and unpredictable, full of twists and turns. But it's in those unexpected moments, those detours and pivots, that we often discover who we are meant to be. And who knows, maybe Agent A will even play a role in connecting some of our listeners with those unexpected opportunities, those serendipitous encounters that lead to something truly remarkable. I wouldn't be surprised. So if there's one thing I hope our listeners take away from this deep dive, it's this. Embrace the unexpected. Be open to new experiences. And most importantly, trust that your own unique journey with all its twists and turns is leading you somewhere extraordinary. Thank you, Federica and Gustavo. Embracing the unexpected. That's what it's all about, right? Um, leaning into the discomfort of not knowing what's next and finding power and comfort in that uncertainty. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check out the link below to connect with Adrian's AI and join the Agent A community. And hey, don't forget to stay cool, stay chill, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Adios, amigos.